Hey guys, it's me Dax Moy from fitnessmarketingmadesimple.com. Um, just here with a very, very quick and short video um, to give you a, what I believe is a very, very important book recommendation. And it's this book. If you haven't read it yet, it's called The Dip and it's by Seth Godin. As you can see, it's a tiny, tiny little read, right? There's, it's, you're, you know, in a matter of an hour and a half, two hours, you'll have, you'll have got it done. But what I think this book will do for you is absolutely change your life. Particularly if you're struggling with a whole bunch of things in your life at the moment and it feels like you're juggling far too many balls. This book, The Dip, is gonna really, really change the way you're currently thinking. And here's why. Actually, before I, before I actually, this, this will actually explain why. It's called The Dip, a little book that teaches you when to quit and when to stick, all right? So essentially what the idea of The Dip is, is this. There are far, far too many people quitting things, right? Far too many people quitting things, when if only they had seen that thing through, they would have become more successful. But that's only part of the story, because we all know that. We've all heard that winners never quit and quitters never win and da 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 right? So that's as cliche as anything. Now the flip side of this same story is that actually people stick at things for far too long. So when it stops working for them, when that diet stops working for them, when that relationship stops working for them, when whatever it is that they're currently engaged in stops working for them, they continue because they've been told winners never quit and quitters never win. So they keep going and keep going and keep going and keep going. Okay, ultimately over time, investing more and more time, more and more effort, more and more energy into doing the things that aren't working. And we see this in, you know, people sticking out 25 years of really unhappy marriages, for example, because they're told that winners never quit and quitters never win and you've made your bed, you go to lie in it, okay? See, people continuously doing the same things in terms of their diet and exercise but it worked for me, but then I gained the weight back, but it worked for me, and then I gained the weight back. Well, obviously it's not working, that, that's a strategy you need to quit, okay? If you've been operating your business in one way, and you know, a lot of people do this, a lot of people operate their fitness business in a certain way, and that they're clearly not happy with, that clearly isn't working for them, and yet when someone like me with a big mouth comes along and tells, tells them, oh, you really need to look at this, and this, and this, and change this, and this, and this, immediately get their back up and say, well, no, I can't do that. I have, to, I have to see, you know, I've got a plan in place and I need to see it through, okay? The idea that winners never quit is one of the biggest fallacies you'll ever, ever, ever come across, okay? Winners quit all the time. And in fact, what, what really makes a winner stand out to, you know, I don't like losing the term loser, but kind of we keep with, keep with that kind of storyline. What makes a winner stick out from a loser is the idea that the winner quits early, they quit fast. As soon as they realize they're playing a game they can no longer win, they quit, okay? So look, I mean, I won't, I won't, I've just given you the, the general premise of the book. It's full of, it's, like I said, it's a very, very quick read. It's very easy to digest. I don't know if you've ever read anything from Seth Godin before, but he writes in a very, very conversational manner. I think it's a brilliant book, and I think before you do anything else working on your fitness business, you should read the dip. Take care, guys.